Well, we continue to want to listen and share friendship between uh, parliamentarians here um, and uh, parliamentarians of Britain. Um, all of us, uh, four parliamentarians here on this uh, visit, um, have visited now a number of times. I visited a year and a half ago when we were in the middle of some of the uh, difficulties uh, between Baghdad and Erbil. Um, one of my colleagues was an uh, election monitor during the referendum, um, and, and others have been multiple times. And we want to continue to see how um, we can, in Britain, support uh, the work of the KRG, um, uh, uh, the regional government, and make sure that uh, Britain um, and the Kurdish people are um, working closely together because we have a great interest in, in promoting what is one of the few um, democratic uh, areas in the region. Well, uh, Historically, of course, the Kurds um, continue to be British allies, um, and they have been for uh, many years. Um, uh, but in terms of uh, making sure that the uh, Iraqi constitution is being upheld, that the, um, uh, the, the monies are flowing to uh, Kurdistan and development is happening, we have an interest in making sure that that happens and that peace is uh, secured. We, of course, we all know that ISIS and Daesh uh, um, uh, are a threat to all humanity. And the work that the Kurdish region and the Peshmerga did to fight off uh, ISIS uh, was um, a, a great importance. And we must not allow um, failures in Baghdad and other areas to allow uh, the security to deteriorate any uh, again. Well, Theresa May is no longer our Prime Minister. I think that many people would uh, give reasons for that, but uh, um, uh, I, I think that going forward, we as parliamentarians are determined to ensure that our government uh, respects and supports uh, the Kurds, and we recognise that particularly post-referendum, Britain was not there helping as much as we should have, and we want to change that. We want to change it by making sure when there are financial flows into Iraq that the Kurds, uh, uh, Kurdish region gets uh, its required percentage. We want to make sure uh, that um, we are sharing and cooperating um, with each other and uh, that uh, we respect each other, something that people say uh, was lacking in the previous administration. Well, geographically, um, of course, ISIL have been finished. Territorially, they have been, but the ideology, no. And you can only kill an ideology through ensuring development, through ensuring people have good livelihoods, through ensuring people feel safe and happy with who they are and the communities they live in. And unless we do that and ensure that that happens, um, then they will not be defeated. And so that's why it's important that we ensure that money uh, from oil sales, money for development continues to flow. Because if it doesn't, there is always a danger, particularly in some of those, um, uh, the disputed regions, uh, that they will come back.